hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Hello, Zach. How you doing? Uh, I'm doing good. Uh-oh. Oh, wait. People can't hear you. Let me, uh, let me change that real quick. You know, I was feeling so confident. It's like, got everything fixed with about 13 seconds left. Um, so you're going to hear that, and then people are going to hear... Hi, Stream Mom. Okay, give it another shot, Zach. Yay, Stream Mom's here. Hey, we can hear you. That's fantastic. Folks, we are going to be playing some uh, more Space Engineers. Um, I've been playing this game a whole lot, mostly because I just feel like... Last week's stream, it just, it weren't quite up to snuff. Uh, we didn't have a whole lot going on. And yeah. uh, I'm actually going to invest in this game. So maybe, Zach, first I'll show you, well, more show the stream what I've been doing. So this is our lovely base here. Um, so if you remember, previously we didn't have a whole lot going on. Zach got it started. So Zach built the refinery. Um, hi, Alex. And the uh, assembler. And then I've basically just been adding on to it. I think I built two more refineries on top of it. Built the hydrogen tank, the H2O2 converter. Um, I think I added a bunch of the wind turbines. I added this whole mining section, which is, it's not super efficient, but it got us a whole lot of materials. Zach started building this ship. Looks like two, two ships? Or, or is your projector just wonky right now? Uh, it's a little wonky right now. That's fair. Um, and then I have my ship. I think my ship may be... Oh, it's almost done. I just noticed something that wasn't done yet. So, um, what's the plan for this stream? Zach, what do you Man, think? look at those drills! I think we should find all the mining things we need. Yeah. And, and really make this base something pretty... Uh, we can dump ore and have it produce things for us while we get ready to build ships to get into the space. Yeah. So that was something I was, I was wondering about is, um, what's the, uh, what's kind of the, the, the progression here? If that makes sense. Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of, uh, first you make a ship or you start mining, then you kind of, I like to get the base, really uh self-sufficient so okay. that you can go out in one go get a bunch of things bring it back dump it and have the refineries just chugging away making all the things you need uh to make all the products and things you need so yeah i'd say i'd say our goal today is to kind of get mining find all the ore deposits all around us i found a couple i don't know if you're aware that there are big chunks of Mm -hmm. ores around us i did yeah and, and i built this little mining rover it's more of a proof of concept it kind of works but it doesn't have a lot of depth to it mm -hmm. i love uh, it it looks really cool yeah it was it was cool and it kind of works but i i think it's really about the ships where you so i was doing the whole plunge technique which worked well for this tower miner because it was mm -hmm. actually kind of easy to build where basically you just have yep. a bunch of pistons and you extend each of them one by one slowly oh yeah um and it worked really well and it's actually easy when you want to extend it you just break this whole drill section, add a whole bunch more pistons. You double the mm -hmm. number of pistons and then add a drill section back on. Yeah. Um, so I was trying to do that in a portable rover and it kind of worked, but not yeah. really. So I think it's just more about, I think these ships are more efficient where basically you are drilling to fit your ship. So then you can just drill mm -hmm. down as far as you want and then pull back. Exactly, yeah. And this ship that I'm building right now, I found on the workshop, use the projector to project it. Yep. And it's it's apparently a very maneuverable, very strong ship. So that's Perfect. why I decided to grab this guy. Yeah, I stole your projector you technique are... and built yeah. mine. I, th I think mine may be done, but I need to You got to group everything it. so you can uh, yeah, make sure it. it's not going to explode. That's that's the worst part is after you're done building it, now you got to sit in the ship cockpit for like five minutes and just make sure all your groups and everything are set yeah. up properly calling this img dash g alex dash. will is at a uh a work event for his girlfriend and he's the worst yep that's right um uh, but he may make it in time for the stream tentative oh boy very tentative. tentative um okay so now let me do some drills here why is this showing oh man i do have five drills don't i man that's a lot oh of drills. yeah 
Yeah. And just so you're aware, I don't know why, but the conveyor junctions on server mm-hmm. really slow down the server. Oh, is that is that what was uh, doing it? Uh, I, I'm not. I'm not sure. I haven't noticed anything. I'm just uh, from talking to other server admins. They oh. say shy away from conveyor junctions. If you actually go into G and look up conveyor things, there's a couple yeah. things. There's a conveyor X junction and the T junction. And try and use those as much as possible, aside from the conveyor junction. Gotcha. Okay. Um, that's just a, a helpful tip. Apparently, it just it, if everyone starts having them on all their things, then it all goes to crap. Oh, I did build this this ship over here, which flies, but it's it's pretty much zero yeah, maneuverability. So okay. It will go. And into you built space. this? Yeah, I built this from it scratch, will. which is why it looks ah. terrible. Yeah, it looks horrible. Um, but I think uh, at some point I may just fly it all the way to the atmosphere. Maybe at the end of the stream I'll fly it in the atmosphere and then just yeah. pa- parachute down. Um, that works for me. It has an H2O2 generator on it, so it, it can basically yep. fuel itself. But Yeah, it's slow. It's a slow. You need to... It doesn't work well. This ship does not have an H2O2 generator. But then how does it... Oh, what is what are the atmospheric thrusters go off of? Uh, they are battery powered, or oh, really? Yeah. Cool. Okay. So then, let me do this. This is IMG underscore ship underscore battery. Save. Okay. And then, do I have any? I don't have any landing gear, do I? That landing gear overrated. You don't like parking your ships? I like uh, I like to hook them up to connectors. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I don't even think I can put landing gear on this ship because it will be outside the drill radius, potentially. That's fine. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I I think... I think I... Well, no, I got to do... You know what? You guys probably can't hear anything because I, I like to turn my audio all the way down so that I can listen to podcasts. All the way down. I should listen to podcasts while I do this. Said I just listened to the sound of my own breathing. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm always on the lookout for a good podcast game. Um, are you into long form history podcasts? Uh, you talking about hardcore history? Oh, I'm just so talking about hardcore history. I love it. I'm, I think I'm all caught up. Yeah, so I've only listened to one. I've only listened to uh, The Brink of Armageddon uh, about oh, World yeah. War One. Oh, yeah, I did I did listen to that one. I meant that the, one um, was the incredible. What's it called? Supernova in the Pacific, the latest series. I think okay, yeah, I've, I've seen that one. That one's pretty good, yeah. I just finished uh, season, I mean, episode three. Okay. It just, okay. just having... You know you've got six episodes. Each episode is four and a half hours long. Just to... Yeah. I, I, I don't know. It's just nice to know that I've got so many hours to just listen. I, th- I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to dump this. What are you going to dump? I think I'm going to dump the ship. It's reading too much stuff through the projector. If I turn the projector off, will that turn the connections off? No. You just have to, you have to, you'd have to actually physically turn that or actually the projector is what's touching it so yeah if you destroy the projector it may okay let's see what fall. is everything on um no some of the stuff's off but the problem is i was okay. trying to set up the i was trying to drag to my toolbar yeah and it's showing like like 20 yeah, showing drills. everything yeah you're connected to the terminal or to the actual station so everything shows up yeah stream on what's the podcast you listen to um, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna dump it. Here we go. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Yeah, that wasn't bad at all. Okay, because I think I have my groups set up, but now I need to drag my groups. Oh man, is is there an easy way to find your groups in this G? Oh, never mind. It's on the left. I always forget about that. So batteries. Go down here. This is 
recharge on off. Oh, you know what? This should be a recharge on off. This should be a discharge on off. Thrusters down here. This is thrusters toggle block on off. And this is a ship drills toggle block on off. I think that's all I need. Uh, you know, I've heard of Welcome to Night Vale. I've heard it's very well produced. I may, I may listen to that. Um, I have been getting into more uh, serial story podcasts, like um, Adventure Zone, which is kind of a D&D &D actual play one. Um, you know what I did not check? I did not check to see how my batteries are doing. Oh, yeah. You know, they're not doing bad. I think I have enough to party time. You got enough juice? Uh, did oh, you put yeah. a gyroscope on there? Yeah, it's got like five of them, I think. Okay. All right, let's see if I can. Oh, man. You are using a lot of thrust. Oh. Oh, careful, careful. Oh, no. Holy cow. There we go. I'm just not used to the... Yeah, try not to... Uh... There. You may not have enough thrusters on the sides. No, I think I think I do. I'm stable now. It's not super maneuverable, but it's well, actually with the mouse it's pretty maneuverable. Oh no, you know what? I think I need to Oh boy. This is going to be a pain to dock. Yep. Why is it on the back like that? Uh, usually we can make it so that everything, you kind of just back up into what you need. Yeah, it just means I got to make one real quick. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thruster's off. Um, I am now at what? What is this? Discharging. Okay. All right. So, where do you think is a good spot to uh, to dump the back in? I think. What about on the other side of this drill? I think that's pretty flat, right? So I put it here and then back in like this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if you put a T junction at the top of this drill, oh, yeah. I don't know if you can. I think you I think fall. I can right here. Oh yeah, you can. Worst case I'll yeah, put, put a I'll have to put a junction right at the top, but Yeah. Well, actually I could put one right here. Yeah, I got it. Um Oh yeah. So you're not I, I, I know what you mean, stream I'm about. Um you fall off podcast, but then you kinda come back to them later. All right, here we go. Yeah, I, I'm doing that, and Conan O'Brien's new podcast, uh, Conan O'Brien Needs a Friend. It's yeah. hysterical. I um I listen to other stuff on the Earwolf Network, like Comedy Bang Bang. Comedy, I said Comedy okay. Bang Bang. It's inside joke, Comedy Bang Bang. Okay, yeah. I was like, I know that one, not the other one. Um, They have another one called Threedom. That's pretty good. Freedom? Yeah, it's basically Paul F. Tompkins, uh, Scott Ackerman, and Lauren Lapkus, who are kind of regulars on, on the Earwolf stuff. Yeah. And they, they have their own podcast where it's just them talking to each other. Like, no characters or anything. Yeah. But, but it's actually Sounds pretty good. Amazing. Okay. All right. I'm getting there, folks. You're doing it. Okay, and then I think I need a little bit of a safety gap here, and then I'll throw a connector in. Okay. Um, yeah, the Adventure Zone is a lot of stuff. I think I think they've gone through two seasons, and each season is around seventy episodes, so they're probably up to 
like total episode count they're probably around like 180 now but it's it's really good oh no that's wait. incredible i gotta go look at my ship where's my connector in terms of height that's pretty good yeah i think i'm actually getting used to this game yeah took me a while what's been the hardest hardest thing to get used to um the the control panel menu not great not great yeah oh definitely not um also it's just the way the grid connects can be rather annoying at times like i kept i had the habit of when i first built the rover of connecting to the station and then powering off so that i wasn't draining power but it yeah, would but then, that shuts off all the power <laughs> yes it shuts off the entire grid and it took me like the first time it happened i realized everything got turned off i didn't know why so i just turned everything back on the second yeah. time it happened i realized oh yeah so that that's the i wish you could i wish you had more control over that where you can be like hey this connector you know mm -hmm. i only want this passing through it yeah um, the best is when you have a bunch of ships all connected to connectors and someone pulls up their ship connects it, and then powers off and then all the ships fall off their connectors oh that's the best yeah that's that's best. happened to josh and i multiple times it's mm -hmm. it's been me every time <laughs> Um, I wish I, I do like how the refineries automatically grab stuff, but I wish you mm -hmm. could do that for like anything. So I, I, I think yeah. you can do it with sorted conveyors, but it's just weird that it does it by default in a way. But if you want more fine control, you've got to build more stuff on it. Because like, I wish I could be, I could say like, hey, the assembler, the refinery should only take ore. The assembler should never grab anything from the network except for raw materials. I mean, refined yeah. materials, and then everything else goes in the cargo. I wish I could set the network up like that, kind of like in Factorio. You you can do it up to a certain point. There's a lot mm -hmm. of conveyors in it, and I think the conveyor sorter definitely helps there. Um, okay. And and how you have everything set up, like I can't access certain things, or like when I'm trying to pull stuff like in, from my build queue, it's not pulling what I need. And so I, at some point when I'm done with this ship, I need to go through your whole system and maybe streamline them bit oh yeah 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 feel free um, um because i was it, it's it's weird that the grid carries power by default but then you have to hook up the conveyors i almost wish that those two systems were tied together yeah because I agree. it's it's like oh i can see it but i can't really tell whether it's connected or not until i go to drag it and something yeah. i was hitting when i was building my ship was um was trying to I was building stuff and I thought the connector ports were connected to each other, but they were not. Mm -hmm. So I, I wasn't, I kept having to like, re I rebuilt my ship like two or three times. The one I built from scratch because yeah. the, the connectors were not actually lining up. And because of that, I wasn't passing anything through. So I had to yeah, like reconfigure it's, all it's, the parts. It's tough to pull. Some, there's just the little things of just like, wait, why can't you do it that way? Yeah. Exactly. So, no, I hear you. Yeah, and, and for some reason, like the H two generator doesn't uh, refill my bottles unless I have ice actively in there, even though our tank is. Oh well, no, like, I I think it's though. because no, I'm not saying this makes sense. I think it's because it doesn't. It the tank doesn't flow through the H two O two generator. So okay. Yeah, so you oh. you have to put the bottle in the tank. Yep, I got gotcha. you. That fills it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm. I'm about to be done with my ship, and then I will uh, sort all those little things out. I. I am done. I just need to finish this thing, but I need a crap load of, of uh, construction comp. Yeah, we we've both been fighting over motors and construction comps. Here we go. Okay. Um. Let me see. I was trying to get a good repeating production set up, but I couldn't really come up with one that fit everything. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is it's almost done. Interior plate. Is yours um, orbital or, or just atmospheric? just atmosphere okay i haven't i haven't yet gotten a good hydrogen set up so i don't want to do that yeah yet i think 
What's so we just need to go mine a bunch of ice to get to fill the tank, right? And then we can go orbital. Yeah. Okay. So I once mine's good, I may I may just go mine a bunch of uh what's bunch it? of ice. Yeah, a bunch of ice. Yeah. Um, and then I can show you where the iron and cobalt, gold and silver is. There's good little tricks to find it that this world has, or not the world, but uh, this game has mm -hmm. of where to find it when you don't have an ore detector or don't want to just float al about, uh, along the ground for hours and hours trying to find Oh, yeah, it. that'll help. Okay, let me... So. Okay, and then that and that. Interior plate. Yeah, I think I'm I'm starting to get this game. It's weird it's weird though because I still have plenty of stuff to do. But it also mm -hmm. feels like the text tree doesn't have a huge amount of depth, which I think I'm okay yeah. with. It, it's not deep, but you also aren't even in space yet. Yeah. And like, it's like good to have all this get, stuff. Yeah, and the items you get are very flexible from what I can tell. Yeah. So I'm, I'm excited to get into... So what do you do when you get into space? You build like a space station up there? Yeah, I, I have space station. Then you start mining uranium to make nuclear reactors. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, yeah. And then you try to get to other planets. Oh, with like the jump drive and stuff. Yeah, I've yet to build a jump drive. That's beyond my uh, current expertise in this game. The good news is I think we still have two two more weeks. Yeah, we got basically two more weeks of this circle. Yeah. Maybe it's, a, maybe it's a week and a half. I can't remember. Maybe it's a week and a half. And I've been playing it a lot. I have plenty of other games to play, but I can't stop playing this one. Yeah. It sucks you in. Yeah. Um, I've been playing... I started Death Stranding today. Ooh. Too bad Will's not here. I know. There's so many things to say. Uh, no spoilers, because I'm, I'm basically an hour into it. But yeah. I'm actually liking it a lot more than I thought I would, mostly because the presentation is just phenomenal. Uh, presentation, just kind of the design of the game? Yeah, just in terms of, like, how the cutscenes meld into the gameplay and they meld out and how it's... I forgot how good Kojima is as, like, a, like a director cinematographer in a way. Yeah. Like, he just knows how to present that stuff well. Um, and, and I don't want to say, like, very cinematic because that's overused, but it's... You know how video game cutscenes are always just feel a little hokey? Yep. It doesn't feel oh, like yeah. it in this game. There's only there's a very minimal amount of hoke. Um, minimal hoke. The music, very well used so far. Lots of good mystery, etc. I'm not sure how well it's going to hold up for the rest of the game, but mm -hmm. I'm really liking it so far. Boy. I'm, uh, I'm just working my way through Red Dead Redemption, so I have... I'll probably get to Death Stranding in like two years. Oh yeah, yeah. I I just feel obligated to at least play it because we got all the like uh, game of the year stuff coming out soon. So I, I kind of yeah. wanna kind of wanna hop on that, and at least have some context for it. Hmm, it's true. Okay, I'm so close. All right, this ship, I need to figure out. I need to make a little connector. Okay. Oh, you know what? I think I may be almost done over here. Oh boy. Here we go. Let me get to my ship. Um, I also played uh, Untitled Goose Game for about an hour last night. Have you played that? Uh, I've only watched people play it. How is it? Uh, you know, it's not it's not too bad. 
it's um oh no it's it's good um it's just that i i think it i don't want to say it outstays it's welcome it's it's that you you get the gist of the game it's like a puzzle stealth game in a way mm -hmm. but it's very forgiving um you get the gist of it yeah. pretty quickly and i was like you know what i played an hour of this i'm not sure how much left there is to it i'm gonna guess not a whole lot <laughs> yeah okay my ship is connected now um so it was definitely one of those things where i was like i played it for an hour i'm not crazy about it i do like it i like the charm but at the same time i don't want to I feel like I've seen the puzzle mechanics they have and they'll probably improve on them a little bit and the stealth stuff, but it's mm -hmm. not it's not something like Katamari Damashi where like the mechanic is simple but you want to see more of the art style and how they expand yeah. it. So I'm like I I understand what this game is. I'm good. Yeah, you don't need to complete it just for the sake of completing it. Exactly. Okay. That makes so let's sense. See. How are my So is there is there an easier way to see total charge for your batteries on your ship other than going to control panel and manually looking at the batteries? No, there's no way. That's the only way you can do it. What if you use a display? Can you uh, choose what a display shows? Be. Yeah, I think so. Let me, let me try that. Because if I could just walk up to it on the outside of the ship and just be like... Or what's it called, a monitor? Or is it a display? What do you have on the side uh, of your ship? Uh, uh, do I have something on the side of my ship? The the You had a previous ship? Oh Remember? yeah, that, I think that was, a, that was an LCD screen. LCD screen, okay. Well, while this ship's charging, let me mess around with that. LCD panel. Okay, all right, where am I putting this? Put it right here. There we go. Ian, what are your most anticipated games for next year? Hollow Knight, Silk Song, I've never heard of, and Final Fantasy 20, 20 11, I think uh, that's what Stream Mom is most excited for. Uh, I don't know how many of those final fi finey fantasy games still are being made. <laughs> it's seven. <laughs> seven. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if I'm going to play Final Fantasy VII Remake. No, I probably will. Actually, I think I'm going to wait for their reviews. Yeah. Uh, I've played about 15 hours of the original Final Fantasy VII. I actually played it this year. Really enjoyed it, but I didn't finish the game. I think it was a bit too old for me. Um, I'm not very tolerant of older systems. Um, but Really? I've never noticed. <laughs> wow. Shut up. Um, and... Uh, but I, I think if the reviews are really good, I'm, I'm going to play it. I'm excited for it to come out. I, I'm just not sure if I'm going to play it. Cyberpunk 2077. I'm pretty excited for that. Oh, yeah. Um, mostly because I I don't think... I, I've never played a, a CD Projekt Red game. I played an hour of Witcher 3, but I was at a point in my life where I was like, I'm not sure that I'm ready to play this game right now. You know? <laughs> yeah. Um, content. Oh, I can have it run a script. And the script can be... Energy and hydrogen. Got it. Oh, it's kind of showing it, but it doesn't really show... Cyberpunk 2077. What are some of the other games coming out next year? I don't care about Last of Us. I think Naughty Dog are not... I think... Hot Take City. You ready? You ready, Zach? Ah, uh, yeah. I think that Naughty Dog's achievements in game design are actually bad for the aesthetic medium. That's my hot take. Ooh. I'm not saying their games are bad. I'm saying the way that they make them and design them and the way that the way they design them to be played is mm -hmm. is bad. Um, it's kind of like uh, Christopher Nolan movies. He does yeah. his movies can be good, but he also over explains everything in his movies, and that is a very bad for your audience because mm -hmm. then they get used to having everything explained to them. 
I gotcha. Okay, so I'm going to look up if I can find a script to show me ship energy. Because right now I just have it showing, like, the bars, which is kind of lame. I don't even know if those bars are accurate. You know what I'm talking about? Like, the hydrogen and the energy bars? Yeah. They're kind of wonky. Yeah, they're accurate, but they just... you're Sometimes you just don't know what uses what. Exactly. Or why. Yeah. Plus the, fa the fact that they, like, fluctuate. Mm-hmm. Uh. Okay. All right. I'm currently charging my batteries. Probably pulling all the charge from your batteries. Uh, no, I think mine are recharging. Hmm. I did set hmm. mine to that, I believe. Unless you changed them. You dick bag. I don't know if I did. Is dick bag PG-13? I think that's PG-13. I think so. I'd like to know. And and can, you can say the F word once a stream. That's PG-13. Will said the <laughs> S word last stream. <gasps> the S word. I feel like we're in high school. I can't even remember why he said it. I just remember him saying it. Do you know how to put the scripts in? Oh, I have scripts enabled on the server. Let me see if I remember. Hi, Meso. If you go into cockpit, K, control panel, I'm guessing display. No, LCD. So I can I can select um, LCD screen. I can select the, the script, but I need to mm -hmm. put in a new script that I'm writing. Gotcha. Because uh, I found the it. values. Okay, let's see. Where am I going? Battery, battery, battery. This is exciting stuff, folks. I've only got 10 minutes to full recharge, but at the same time. Okay, let's see. This is energy. Ship underscore. Oh, custom data. What is it? Current stored power. Oh man, Xfinity just put a pop up into Chrome telling me that we've increased speeds in your area. Oh, that's no awful. One no one I think cares. they've done that to me before as well. I think I've gotten this before when I pirated something. And they said, hey, we caught you. And then I immediately went and bought a VPN. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, hey, hey. Not Although anymore. I usually get that as uh, emails. I've never had Comcast pop it up to me. Um, yeah, I, I, emails are what I usually get. But I have gotten a pop-up. And that it scared me. Because I was like, why do you have access to doing that? Okay. Oh, right, I'm gonna get and jump out of your ship because I was uh, watching you adjust things. Yeah, I'll look That's it up over here. That's disgusting. Yeah, Meso said he's been seeing that as well on his Comcast. Yeah, that's pretty ridiculous. Comcast is a company. It's it's the evil you have to live with. It's either uh, realistic speeds. And dealing with Comcast or five megabits per second download, and the same price. So, mine, yeah, mine just went up uh, fifteen bucks. Oh, it did. Yeah, I think because I because it was um. Uh, sorry, how do I put this? End of the year. I guess oh. I only had a year plan. I moved this time last year, so they. But I, I get gigabit internet, so I'm I'm fine with paying 105 for gigabit as opposed to 90. Yeah, I'm I'm paying 80 for 250 down, so that's yeah, that's not that's bad. Good. That's good. That's what I, I had. I, I really place. Yeah, I really wish it would it was bilateral, so that I could you know have 250 gigabyte up, yep. or 250 megabit per second up. But no, that they don't believe in that. I even talked to a Comcast guy because he was installing stuff at uh, my last job, and he was like, "Oh yeah, Comcast spent like millions of dollars to uh, uh, to upgrade everything to be bilateral, uh, mm -hmm. and they just haven't turned it on." Oh, and I was like, goodness. "I don't like you." 
thanks. Okay, folks, um, give me a second. I, I'm actually going to reboot the game real quick because I think I have a cool script. Ooh. So, and I'm just on Xfinity seeing what my speed is, so. Okay, here we go. Oh, $10 a month. What's the speed on that, Meso, for the, the $10 a month AT&T? Oh, no. Oh, no, my Steam didn't crash. Here we go. I just drooled on stream. <laughs> oh, man, clip it. Clip it. Uh, so I found out that when people who are watching your stream make a clip, you can see it. Um, it's, and I found that out because somebody made a clip and it was like 30 seconds long. And it was, it was a clip of me accidentally showing my desktop and then going, whoops, I don't want to show you guys my desktop and then switching out of it. <laughs> so they made the clip just to like go back and be like, wait, did he have anything good on there? This is pretty funny. That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, can you see who makes the clip? I I think I can. It wasn't a normal though. It was one of my i racing dreams where like twenty five people showed up. Whoa! Hey, big spender. I know. It was that first i racing stream. So many people showed up to just watch me like oh, be yeah. terrible at the game. It was crazy. <laughs> Failure is fun to watch. I may have to get back on that this uh, this weekend. I know. I'd like to. I could randomly see you pop up. Mm -hmm. I never watched it. I mean, it's ridiculous to watch. <sighs> um, yeah, we've been trying to do more um, streams outside the Tuesday Thursday because you know we're always playing games, so we might yeah. as well. Okay. Exactly. Right, that, that did not work, but you know what? I'm gonna fly this ship anyways. Let's go see if I crash it terribly. I believe my batteries are fully charged in four minutes. Yeah, they got a bunch of power in there. Okay, here we go. Okay, oh, that's why. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go fly over to this my ice mountain. Have fun. I also have solar panels on my ship, which makes sense now that I know my stuff is uh, electric. Yeah. Oh! I keep hitting. Oh, yeah, care careful about stopping. Also, careful about uh, hitting the F button while you're flying. Oh, yeah, then you just uh, leave. Uh, so speaking of stopping, I have killed myself three or four times on these ice caps because I fly towards it, and then I go to stop, and I'm still going so fast. And then the worst part is every time I do it, I have upgraded tools, but my body gets thrown, like my pack gets thrown into nothing. So I can't remember <laughs> it. Yeah. And I'm just like, bye-bye. Yep. Okay, all right, let's turn these drills on. Oh my goodness, this ship is enormous. Okay, all right. All right, I'm gonna go get some iron. Oh man, this is just gonna be nasty town, USA. It's working. Uh, you also missed the uh, large ice lake that you could. Uh... Oh, is that ice? Is yeah. This, is it solid ice? I've just been going to this mountain. Yeah, it's solid ice. Wow. I guess I did miss that. Huh? 
Why am I, uh... Why am I moving around there, bud? Oh, wow. You know what? I think that worked rather well. Let's take a looky loo at my inventory. And I have... A decent amount of ice and stone. Look at that, folks. That worked. Let's go party. So the lake we're next to is ice? Yep. Yeah, here we go. Uh, watch so. your speed coming in. You will okay. yeah. You will hit things. All right. So you think I just drill straight down? Yeah. So think about speed. <laughs> I'm still flying. I think it's the the dampers that kind of mess me up. Because like yeah. I like I try to correct a little bit, but it doesn't really work. Okay. Like I tried to swoop upwards. Well, actually, I think it's more I'm just used to it normal. Oh, I need some. I think I can limp home. I think that the problem now is I have to figure out where are the damages. I think it's mostly in the rear. Yeah, okay. All right, I'm gonna come limp home. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh, I see you, buddy. Oh, no. <laughs> this is going to be... You know what? I'm oh, not please, no. Gonna... Oh, no. Oh, no. Not into... No, no. I'm not. I'm not. Okay. Okay. I don't need to dock. I just need to get close enough to make repairs easy. So you are missing your... I think it's right uh, rear, I believe. Yeah. So try not to... Oh, man. That's good enough for now. Okay, so that was one. Okay, all right. I know what I need. Worth it. Worth it. I need to do is I need to make a I need to make a display like a control panel near that that connector over there <laughs> okay Okay, so now the goal is just mine a bunch of ice to fill the hydrogen tank, and then we can build real spacecraft. Mm-hmm. I like it. Okay, control panel. Put a control panel around here. Why can't I put a control panel?
Man, I can't put a control panel around here. This sucks. Just put one there. Perfect. Okay. Red. Okay, all right. Why can't I? Oh, are you building right there? Sorry. Yeah, I'm doing some things. Okay, there we go. Grid, solar. Let's go see. Tomorrow's Friday, baby. Friday, baby. How much time are you taking off for the holidays? Me? Um, I'll probably work Monday, and then I'll take until uh, that, basically the Monday after that. So I'll take Tuesday to Tuesday to Sunday off. What are you doing? Um... I was thinking about going in on Monday. Then I realized mm -hmm. it just don't make sense because there's there's just not a lot of people in the office, you know. Yeah. Um, so instead, so I don't. We had Wednesday, we had Tuesday, Wednesday off. So I took off Monday, Thursday, Friday. So basically, I have off all of next week. Yeah, you got the whole week off. That's nice. Yeah, I mean, I got the time to burn. I figured I might as well, you know. Yeah. Well, you have the chance. Yeah, exactly. Which, I don't know, that kind of sounds like a threat. Wow. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. What is this? Construction nice. comp. Construction comp and motors. What's your... Um, are you just running to uh, control panels like I am? So what do you mean? Like when you need materials, are you just running to control panels? Yeah. Control panels or kind of, yeah, the, in, the fronts of the assemblers and the refineries I go to. Is, is this not connected anymore? I can't, I can't pull from the back of this. I used to be able to pull from the back of it. You know what I mean? Uh, I think when it's connected now, you can't. Like you couldn't. Yes, yeah, so you might have to go to the front. Sorry. Why? Buddy. Oh, because it's oh, you're saying because you have it on there. Because like, yeah, because you have something there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just man, I just oof. I need this game. Come on. Now. Yeah, I'm trying to make it all so everything's underneath. So yeah, that yeah, that's have to. that's fine. I just hate having to run to control panels all the time, and then it's like sometimes oh, you yeah. can reach them, but they don't actually work, and it's yeah. just frustrating. They're not connected properly. Yeah, it's a pain. Oh, man, so you don't like the holidays? I like them because it feels like everybody slows down and chills out for them. That's what it feels like. Really? I get the opposite. I'm I'm surrounded by people who get stressed out for the holidays, so yeah. I uh, I like to uh, make it easy. We bought all our Christmas presents for all family and everybody, like, at the end of November. No, mid-November, because we were just like, no, we're not dealing with it. We're not doing all this crap, yeah. so... uh. Yeah, this has been very st the most stress free, and I've got a pregnant wife. And the fact that this is our most stress free holiday, and she's pregnant, is uh, it's a good thing. It's a feat in itself. That's true. Okay. Oh, you All don't right. have something hooked up, pro? Well, maybe you do. Oh, I wouldn't. I would bet on probably not. Yeah. Okay. All right. I think I think I'm back to normal. I hit the ground hard, but I think... Well, I just kind of scraped my tail. Well, you scraped your little tail. Oh, 
I definitely put that one on wrong. Okay. Okay. And then this goes here. Oh yeah, you're right back in the ship in is a lot easier. Than like trying to land it. Yeah. go and then I think that should be everything out of my inventory almost just have this ice still in here ice ice baby ice ice where's my h2 h2 oh is the h2o2 temporarily disconnected uh, it's, I haven't, it hasn't been working for me. I'm not quite yeah. sure why. Maybe I'd been manually dropping it. Yeah. Oh, Meso says he's a Scrooge. Oh, you're, su you're Bah Humbug. I've got my, my current, not current, my boss is one of those. And, uh, you just gotta, I don't know. Sometimes you just gotta cool down and let other people be fun. You just gotta get in the mood. The, the worst, bit. yeah. The worst is when everyone else is trying to have a fun time, and then there's one guy who's just like, Meh. and you're just like, "Come on, man, just." It's it's 14 hours of an elf marathon. Just deal with it. Just just get in the mood. <laughs> what's your uh, what's your favorite holiday film? Hmm. You know, I'm not sure that I have uh, specifically holiday. You know, we watched Home Alone again yep. recently. Very good. I think that's the de facto. That's, that's that's just the best holiday film. Like, I love Elf, but a lot of people get sick of it. And I don't blame them. It, it, it gets a little old. But I, I was surprised how well Home Alone holds up. Yeah. It does pretty good. And you can't disappoint if I've never met someone that's just like, oh, I don't want to watch Home Alone. That's a stupid movie. Yeah. Okay. Let me check my inventory. Oh, yeah, I got a bunch. I got a bunch of ice. But let's keep digging. Yeah, I didn't realize this lake was ice. I thought it was just badly textured um, uh, water. <laughs> oh, yeah. No. Yeah, I kept flying to that, those mountaintops. You know, we all make mistakes. Me more than just most. As long as we're, just as long as we're learning from them. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm getting the good stuff now. Nice. Oh no. Oh no. Get me out of here. Oh no. Oh no.
I got my ship stuck. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, no, wait, I think I, I almost had a view there where I could see where to go. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> okay, I think I'm just gonna power down, power down, and I'm gonna hop out and I'm gonna dig myself free. Probably the best idea. Dang it, I did it wrong. Wow, this is a lot of ice. You think you did it? Well, I, I think I gave myself enough room to get out. Well, if my it's like my my back I don't have enough backfire thrusters. If that makes sense. Yeah, you might be missing some. Oh, I don't know. I looked around, and I I had backed up like I backed up to the connector port. Okay, let's power down. You might just have too much. Ice. You might be too heavy. You might need to dump ice. Yeah, that could be it. Like if I don't have enough back thrusters and I'm heavy. Yep. Gotcha. You may okay. just be floundering. Oh no. How do I dump it? Uh, you gotta go get in, go into your inventory, pull out ice. I wouldn't. I think you need to put it on your person and then dump it. Oh, that's. And then make sure you're not dumping it in the same little spot where you are, because then that would end very badly. Okay. 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 Yeah, I dug way deep down. Yeah. Yeah, I'm seeing you. You're you're at stone now. Yeah, you definitely probably are a little overweight. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then let me go here. Oh, no. I can't. Oh, no. Let's see what happens. It's trying. Okay, but here's the problem is I I I can't drag out of the ship onto me even when I'm in it. Oh, because things may not be connected properly. Here, scroll down. Yeah, see if you can pull out ice from the other, any of the other the ones. Other drills? Mm. Yeah, no. So you so might have to that. manually go find the drills and pull stuff out of oh, them. Oh my god, that sucks. Yeah, because you didn't connect up, connect them properly to your cockpit. No, they're not connected to the cockpit, but they at least go back to the connector and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me just dump a bunch more. No, don't do that. Do that. Do that. What? Okay. All right. Lesson learned. Don't dig straight down with this ship. Well, unless I just put a giant atmosphere bunch of atmospheric thrusters in the front or like a hydrogen thruster on the front in reverse ah. and an h2o2 converter and then it becomes purely an ice ship 
Okay, let me dump some more. And then we'll see what's going on. Riveting stream tonight, folks. Riveting. Hey, if you didn't come here for the riveting content that you guys produce daily, daily. what are they here for? Is it daily? I don't think it's daily. It's daily to me. That's true. Oh, oh I'm making so much progress. It's a shame. I was really hoping I could just fill this ship up, but I guess that's not going to happen. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Okay, so if we, knowing we've only got about two streams left, about a week and a half of gameplay left, what do you think our, our goal should be for the end of uh, Sandbox Season 3? get to the moon you think that's feasible oh yeah the the hydrogen think, how how efficient is the hydrogen in space extremely especially if you have an h2 generator on there here using hydrogen to keep you afloat in gravity is just the worst thing okay um, Got it. and then getting ion engines which are battery powered but you can at that point there you have nuclear reactors and it's all all sorts of fun, and you're not worried about lo running out of pa battery power. That sounds good. Yeah. Oh, I think I'm so close. Maybe not. Okay, and then I think if I do this, I think part of the problem is I dug down at an angle so I'm having mm. to use solely my reverse thrusters. Gotcha. I think this is more of a horizontal miner, if that makes sense. Because that way I can use my bottom thrusters to lift myself up out of the hole. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's so close. It's doing it too slowly. But at least I'm conserving power. Okay. And then. Bye. But I am gonna have so much ice. Ice. It's gonna be great. Uh, you're still fixing conveyor stuff, right? Yeah, I'm still working on it slowly. Cool. No, I like that. I think, I think that's optimal. And this is this is the uh, your will right now, where you figure out all the little things that you want to do. Mm -hmm. and then I make it all work yeah because that's I was literally just throwing things together in a way yeah trying to get stuff going the other day because I, I just really wanted to my main focus at the beginning was just like I noticed I kept running back and forth to mine and I hate mining in this game by hand and I was like I gotta, I gotta figure out something here yeah so that oh, was man, like I just destroyed my ship did you really yeah well like completely or? no i'm somehow still in the air but uh yeah that was uh that wasn't fun oh, you know, I, I think i'm making progress here uh Oh, he's 
so fat. Do you see me? Yeah, I'm watching you. That's incredible. I'm so fat. So fat. <laughs> I wonder how much I have on me. I have 70, 105, I have 120. Oh, I'm sorry. 200k of ice on me. You got the goods. Too dang fat. I'm not even full. Maggie, I'm fat. <laughs> oh boy. I'm so big over here. I think what I need to do is I need to just like dig a little trench, dig a little pit, and then drop myself in the pit and just trench it so that way all I have to do is kind of lift myself off the ground but I think yeah. if I can I need to add more atmospheric thrusters to this guy oh no oh no 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 <laughs> did you see I'm just I saw your ship head down as I was far off at the distance yeah it's so so I can get elevation with the main thruster But I can't really get off the ground with my bellies. Yeah, you've just got a lot of weight on you. And I had a ton of weight. I had a ton of iron in my ship that I forgot to take out. And so when I was like speeding over to you, yeah, my up thrusts couldn't handle it. And so I just slowly <laughs> sank into the ground at speed. Come on. Come on. Oh, I did it. Yay. So there's now a bunch of ice. Pretty sure I've got some damaged stuff down there because it's smoking. But let's go see. So it should, oh no, that's right. We determined it doesn't take the ice immediately, does it? Yeah. Oh, dang it. Well, no, I think it took some of it. It did, it took some of it. It doesn't take it from the cargo containers. So if I drop it in the drill, then it takes it. Gotcha. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, you need to have, you need to make sure, maybe you're, something's not connected properly mm. no I see it's connected because it, it goes from the drill back to the medium cargo container but if I mm -hmm. drop it in the drill well now I'm playing a fighting game where the drill wants to put it back in a cargo container but I did drop one from the cargo container into the drill and then it sucked it into the grid oh okay well let me just go to the, the H202 see if I can pull from there Oh, where is the H202? It's right below the... Oh, that's right, yeah. Yeah, it pulled ice in there. And yeah. now it's filling up the tank slowly. So it should see... If it sees another one on the network. Here it is. From connector 3. So if I throw this back up here... There we go. I had to manually do it, but I think it worked. Hey. So what's the tank look like then? Let's check the tank. 25%. Wow. Not bad. That's a lot. Wait, where did the rest of my... Is there another H202 in here? No, there should be. It might be stuck in the connector. Sometimes oh, it, it, it pulls it out of your ship and just sticks it in your connector. Yeah, it's stuck in a couple different connectors, I can see. Actually, Sounds I think... Oh, no, it's because the O2H2 generator's full. 
Yep. That would explain it. Yeah. Yeah, see, that's where I wish I could set it up to have, like... Well, I think you may be able to do it with the filter conveyor. Well, maybe, no, probably not. Where you... I just want a cargo container that I say, this is only for ice. So whenever yeah. you hook up a ship, it just dumps to the container. And that way we don't have to worry about the, uh... The stupid, uh, H2O2 generator space. No, definitely, yeah. The, the conveyor sorters would probably help there. Because, like, right now I can't... I can't do... I can't leave because... Well, let me check. Yeah, not all my ice is dumped yet. Yeah. Yeah, we should just build a large cargo container yeah. that we can... Okay. Oh, poor ship. Well... Um, I think that's going to do it for us tonight. This was kind of a nice lackadaisical stream, but it's, it's good to see stream mom. Good to see you. Meso. Good to see you, Alex. Good to see you, Zach. Zach, thank you for joining us. Where can people find you? Of course you can find me, uh, practically anywhere on the internet, Reddit, but I just won't tell you my username there, but mm -hmm. Zach attack on Instagram. That's where I'm mostly. Good stuff. Uh, and you can find me on Twitter at Think Gibson. Uh, and you can find more subpixel content at subpixelfilms.com that takes you right to our YouTube page, which if you're watching us uh, on YouTube today, uh, you probably already see that. If you're on Twitch or Mixer, you can head on over to our YouTube. Um, we do a lot of edited stuff there as well as uh, these live streams. Uh, let's do a special shout out to a Dwarf Fortress video that Will did. It's actually taken off. We have about 3,000 views on it. Uh, which is pretty crazy. We didn't run any ads on that video, but Will's gotten 3,000 views on it so far. Uh, it's all about how he has never played Dwarf Fortress, but he can't stop thinking about it and buying books and reading about it and looking it up. Um, so just a little tease, but we will be doing something with Dwarf Fortress soon in the future where we'll, we'll play it for the first time. Um, we're also going to be doing more streams. Uh, next Tuesday, we are not currently planning a stream. It's Christmas Eve, uh, but I may be streaming some stuff between now and then so just keep an eye on twitch and mixer when we do our kind of um spur of the moment less planned streams which is usually you know me playing um i racing lately racing game or uh you know will's been talking about playing some other games like half-life one um we'll put those on twitch and mixer the tuesday thursday night streams are on all three platforms including youtube but when it's more casual we'll do it on twitch and mixer so if you follow us on twitch and mixer at subpixel team you'll be notified as soon as we go live. Um, so the short story is, I'm not sure we're going to have a stream next Tuesday. It's Christmas Eve. Next Thursday, definitely Space Engineer. But between now and then, we will have holiday videos out next week, like we did last year. Each of us, uh, the Subpixel Four Horsemen, are going to be doing a uh, special holiday-themed video and a tweet list. Uh, I believe that's Tuesday through Friday of next week. So be excited for that. That's our holiday stuff. Um, and just, uh, you know, keep your ear to the ground. We'll probably be doing streams between now and then, but until then folks, I just want to say thank you guys for watching chill stream. Y'all have a good night. And just remember when your spaceship get fat, it going to crash. <laughs>